This is Dr. B, and in this video, we'll balance the equation for P plus Cl2 gives us PCl3. Phosphorus plus chlorine gas gives us phosphorus trichloride. Let's count the atoms up, balance the equation. We have one phosphorus and two chlorine atoms. Product side, one phosphorus and three chlorine atoms. When we have something like this where we have an odd number, it's best to get that to an even number. It makes it a lot easier to balance. So let's put a two in front of our PCl3. So three times two, that gives us six. There's our even number. This two applies to everything. So one times two, that'll give us two phosphorus atoms. Now we could put a three in front of the Cl2. Two times three, that gives us six. And then for the phosphorus, we just need to put a coefficient of two. One times two, that gives us two. We're done. This equation is balanced. So when you have an odd number like we started out with, it's often good to get that to be even makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P plus Cl2 yields PCl3. Thanks for watching.